Welcome to the College Football Bowl Game Saturday slate here for December 23rd, 2023. We got seven games to break down for you guys. Got a fun slate of games in this one. I'm your host, Jacob Wayne, joined as always by Cody Maustrom and Will Schwartz. Let's move on to our final game. It's the Hawaii Bowl between San Jose State and Coastal Carolina. Uh, San Jose State enters this game on a nice run. End of the year with six straight wins, including wins over a couple of pretty strong Mountain West teams in Fresno State and UNLV. Missed out on the Mountain West Championship, though, due to the computer algorithms deciding that UNLV and Boise State deserved it more. I still don't really understand how that works, but uh, moving into this game here, there'll be 10-point favorites over Coastal Carolina. Some big news on either side for these teams. Going to hit that before we get into our handicap for this one. On the Coastal side, quarterbacks Grayson McCall and Jarrett Gasser in the portal. Expected to be Ethan Vasco getting his fourth straight start for the team. We got running back CJ Beasley, wide receivers Jared Brown and Tyson Mobley. And then defensive players Braylon Ryan and JT Killen as the notable transfer portal guys for Coastal. And then their knuckleback, Juan Powell, missed the team's final two games with an injury. Worth monitoring there. On the San Jose State side, uh, Fernando Carmona, stud tackle, already committed to Arkansas in the portal. And then tight end Dominic Mazzotti had a great year, already committed to UMass. So two big losses on offense for this team. Worth noting that on the Coastal side, head coach Tim Beck, did say that multiple guys who are in the portal right now are going to be playing in this game. McCall will not be one of them. He already committed to NC State, but potentially those wide receivers or defensive players, hard to know exactly who that's going to be. Uh, love that about this time of year. But looking at this game, San Jose State will be a 10-point favorite. Schwartz, I'm going to go to you first on this one. Any lean on the side or total here? Yeah, you can actually find now uh, at FanDuel, I'll have to go back and check to see if it's gone, but it's we're seeing that there could be a minus 9.5. That would be an absolutely enormous opportunity because I do lean San Jose State here, but I don't love the big number. Talked about bowls, variance, mitigating your risk. I don't love it. can read my matchup preview for this game for uh, you know more like 900 words of thoughts rather than just a few seconds, but I do lean San Jose State. They, they had a good year in a lot of ways. They're probably getting hurt a little less by transfers and stuff. I mean, McCall is a bigger loss than anyone San Jose could possibly lose. And it's a homecoming of sorts for Siobhan Cordero, who's not only Hawaiian, but he played for U of Hawaii. So it's going to be a big moment for him kind of coming back. Yeah, I just, I don't think that Coastal stacks up well enough. Their rushing offense is probably not as good at, you know, in its current state that it can punish San Jose State for how bad the run defense is. While conversely, San Jose State can do the exact same thing. They can run the football all day, control the ball, run this one out. I just, I don't know if I like the number enough. This isn't an official play, but it's definitely my lean. And I'm leaning even, you know, I'm a little more leany at nine and a half, uh, nine and a half points rather. Yeah, I really like uh, Coastal here, to be honest. And I just think the spread has, has gone too far. Um, Schwartz mentioned Grayson McCall, one of our favorite G5 quarterbacks, but you have to be honest about his production this season. It wasn't the same once they lost Jamie Chadwell. Chadwell went to Liberty, and they're in a New Year's Six Bowl now. And one of the better coaches in the group of five, maybe the best group of five coach right now, uh, Grayson McCall fell off this season without him. And Ethan Vasco was pretty solid to close out the season, especially as a runner. Averaged over eight yards per carry on the year. San Jose State terrible against the run. 126 from rushing EPA per play allowed. So I think Coastal's going to be able to move the ball on the ground here. And then you do Siobhan Cordero, like Schwartz broke down, coming into this game, Hawaii native, of course. But I do wonder about the motivation for the rest of the team after missing out on the, on the Mountain West Championship. Uh, you do have Coastal coming all the way across the country. So potentially a little bit more of an exciting time for them. San Jose State was just in Hawaii a few weeks ago. So I'm not seeing a massive motivational edge. Honestly, I just think this, this number has just become too inflated due to the loss of McCall. And I think Ethan Vasco is very capable of keeping Coastal in this game and potentially pulling off the upset, to be honest with you. All right, heading into this game out in Honolulu, uh, I did want to mention, too, there's a little bit of wind could be a factor up to 20 miles an hour. So potentially an issue for the passing game with Cordero in this one. But looking at the 10.5 point spread here, Cody, any interest in betting that or the over-under at 51? Yeah, you know what, Wayne? I think you sold me. I think I'm going to take a stab at 10 and a half for, uh, for a half unit here. Um, I, I initially had no interest, but I actually did agree with a lot of things you just said, uh, especially involving their backup uh, Vasco. 
are you really telling me like it's this much of an overreaction five and a half points just because McCall's not playing like don't get me wrong McCall uh, a few years ago one of the best uh, group of five quarterbacks if not like the clear best but you're, you're right he just he did not look right this season uh, the identity changed drastically shifted everything and, and it's no fault of his own I mean you play within the system you're at like we just kind of had the same talk with Drake May Drake May fell off having to go on a much slower pace um but but then you, the, the only issue I have is you look at San Jose State like they barely have been affected I mean yes they are losing their starting left tackle and tight end two stud players but is it enough to also like kind of say that they're going to drop out? I don't know. It's a tough one, but when you have a, that 10 and a half, how high this has gone, I expect this probably to go, go back down a few points as we lead to kickoff. I, I think, I think 10 and a half is worth the stab here. And I, I'm, I'm going to ride your, I'm going to ride your coattails on this one. Sounds like this yeah, show I, needs uh, the Spartans by exactly 10. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I did want to say like, by the time you're watching this, I, I think this number is going to move. Um, I don't know that the 10 and a half is really going to last, especially if you get uh, any update on the coastal players who are in the portal playing in this game. So you can follow me on Twitter. Uh, I'm always happy to answer any DMs about what numbers I would play things to, but I am taking coastal at 10 and a half here. Last point on this one, um, head coach Tim Beck, <laughs> there was a picture of him uh, on the beach in Hawaii, uh, shirtless with a bunch of their cheerleaders and it was going around social media, posted by the Coastal Carolina account. They had since deleted it. But I saw that and I'm like, all right, man, I might have to bet on Tim back in this game. Um, just a baller. So, yeah, I'm back in Coastal Carolina out on the island here. Before we get out of here, uh, I've done with our breakdown of these seven games. I'm going to ask you guys, and this will be a fun slate of bowl games, boys. So hopefully we can bring you guys some value, hopefully some winning bets on this show. Uh, follow us all on Twitter. You can see our Twitter links in the bio uh, next to our names. And yeah, check out the bowl page, uh, the bowl tracking page for all the latest transfer portal news, injuries, and other and everything else. Opt outs, uh, updating that every day to help you stay apprised of everything going on. It's crazy out there in bowl season. You're gonna have some games where you thought a player was playing and all of a sudden he's not, and you might win your bet anyways, like I did with UTSA. So hopefully you tail me on that one. But that'll do it for us. Hope you guys enjoy this Saturday slate of bowl games.